Welcome back, Deadlights and Ghost Beaters. If you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming, and surprisingly, out of nowhere, we have an update to Evil Dead the game that's not included in an actual content drop. So let's take a look and see what actually is in it. The May 17th, 2023 patch notes new features. Players who complete have completed all missions will get the remaining two Nobi tapes unlocking the complete story of Professor Nobi. This is actually a little worrisome because they said there is 10 tapes, but you would assume that there had been two more missions for that. Apparently, they're just wiping the missions. And this is one of the things I was worried about. And we're doing a follow-up video probably tomorrow talking about is there concerns for Evil Dead the game. Survivors. Survivor icons are updated in the pop-up map during the mass paranoia ability. Survivors no longer detect ball during peekaboo ability by the sound of his steps or voice. Survivors now receive fear after dodging trap activation. And Hunter's lone wolf ability will no longer be inactive if only dead teammates are around the player. Demons! Demon units will no longer miss hits on the Necronomicon. Ball can no longer chain possess survivors. So there's a nerf to ball. Pretty quickly, Ball no longer has support Ash's marked target and Kelly's counter shot ability effect during peekaboo. Well, that's a little bit of a buff then, I guess. Now, power possess ability doesn't get cooldown after usual possession if a respective button was pressed without the target before. Okay, that's good, I guess. Demon traps no longer stop working after unpossessing a survivor and letting him hit active trap. Demon no longer receives increased damage while possessing a survivor marked by Manhunter. Buttons for opening and placing proximity portals are correctly displayed in the HUD when Demon unpossessed the vehicle. The Witch can no longer cancel the slowdown delay after attack by a particular button combination. Deadites downed with finishers will no longer perform a small jump on the ground. The Vanishing effect for the Demon now appears when exercised in Page Dagger Objective. Demons no longer see the color beam above a survivor's item. All right, well, there you, there you have it. Doesn't look like a very demon-friendly update. All right, well, let's see what happened to the general changes. Leader Ash's voice lines for Killing Ball are now correctly played. In the tutorial, hand axe over the table now have natural spawn locations. Weapons are now unable to spawn vertically. SMG and grenade launchers are now included in handgun and special ammo descriptions. Weapons can no longer twitch on the character's back after getting out of the car. The supply crate mark will no longer disappear when a player is near it. Move to another map location. Thank God. It was one of the most annoying things. You mark something for your teammates. You move to a different place and poof, it's gone. And then everyone's like, well, what happened to that epic chest? What happened to that gold chest? We need those Fs, baby. Soul calmly voice lines will no longer be played in the Necronomicon phase if the player carries them in inventory before entering the stage. Okay, so if you're dead, you're dead. That's that's the end of it. Elagos's neck will no longer unnaturally stretch if a shot with his shotgun in the eighth mission fixed an issue with some players fighting invisible deadites. Various location, various localization fixes. Now, fighting invisible deadites. Does this mean the Necronomicon skeleton problem, where they glitch all over the place, is fixed? I I don't know. We'll find out probably today or tomorrow. Balance changes. Brock Williams healing bonus per non-family member for the ability blood ties decreased from 7 to 5%. Brock Williams damage reduction per family for ability blood ties decreased. So Brock's nerfed out of the box. Dang. Game crashes. If you're experiencing game crashes with Evil Dead the game, we recommend following our review guide and following these steps to contact Saber Support. Still experiencing issues for the going through the steps above? Don't hesitate to contact us. And I think that's it. So it's a quality of life update. We haven't had one of those in a while. So we get a new update with the Who's Your Daddy bundle and the Game of the Year update. This is pretty much kind of balancing both Brock and Ball, who I guess they felt were too strong. And uh, a little bit of quality of life stuff. So, I mean, I'm not sure how we're going to feel about this. I'll probably take Ball out for a spin on tomorrow's stream. But let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. And later, mates.